All right, guys, Tech Made Easy here. And I wanted to do a kind of more of an updated video on why I love the Ego mower. I love it. I really enjoy it. You know, I've never felt that way about a mower. I mean, you know, I'm probably going to ask the mower to go steady. <laughs> but no, seriously, I mean, you know, I, I know I have a channel and I love sharing what I do. But, um, you know, look, I've had plenty of mowers. You know, and sometimes, you know, you get the gas out at the end of the season, you try to start it up in the beginning of the season, you clean the carburetor, you know, stuff like that, change the oil. Um, I love that this thing is just no maintenance, you know, no gas, you know, no, no uh, oil. L look, I could store it on its side, right? Um, can't do that. Look at this guy here. This is my Honda. All right, I've had it for four years. It is the Honda HRX 217. All right, self-propelled uh, mower. And, uh, yep, I, I am a fan. But I am now a huge fan of, of uh, this mower here. And, and if you've watched my video, this is the premium model now with the double blade. Um, but, yeah, reason number one. Reason number two for me is the batteries. Okay, so battery technology. Oh, all right. So a couple of things here. You, you can see that here's the old, this is a standard charger, okay? So this is still current. You, if you buy Eagle products, you might get this, uh, you know, this charger, okay? But it isn't a fast charger and it doesn't have a fuel gauge, okay? I mean, it'll go you know, red to green, as you can see there, but that's all you're getting. And it takes a lot longer to charge your batteries. Now, if you look at this guy here, all right, this is the fast charger, okay? And, you know, 25, 50, 75, 100, okay? Now, the other nice thing about this, too, is um, depending on the battery you get, some of the batteries now have fuel gauges, okay? And I'm going to do a video on... See that? So it actually has you know, five levels, okay, to show you 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, that your battery's charged. And that is the fast charger. And that charger is like 75 bucks if you went to buy that. I mean, and I, I got a couple of batteries, you know. Um, so to me, that is reason number two. And um, for me, reason number three is it's easy to push. Uh, honestly, it is extremely easy to push. So let me go ahead and grab this guy. And I wanted to make one video for you guys. So let me move the Honda out of the way. All right. And hang out here with this guy. All right. So let's go ahead and drop it down. All right. This thing's got ball bearing wheels, which... Many of the Ego mowers do, just so you'll know, okay? This thing just glides, you know? Really, got no issues whatsoever. Love it, love it. Um, works really well. All right, so that is another reason. You know, the other one you saw a moment ago, right? I mean, this thing is just easy to store, right? You take it, throw it up against the wall, and you're done. You don't have to worry about oil. You don't want to have worry, worry about gas spillage. You know, you just put it in the corner and forget about it. Um, the next reason is one hand height adjustment. So if you want to adjust the whole mower itself, all right. So to do that, you know, just to do that, you grab this handle here, okay, put your mower in place, and check it out. One hand, you can get this thing up or down. A really, really nice feature. Now, the newer model has seven positions, but they say the height is the same as the previous model. So I'm like, all right. I use two hands a lot of times, but yeah, you could use one hand and, and get this into the different positions. So to me, that's another reason why 
I like this. Now, this model also has LED lights, okay? So that is another reason. So let me see if, uh, there it goes. Without starting it up, I wanted to just show you. Obviously it's kind of daytime, but they're pretty decent. I mean, you know, and, and this is made, you know, if you're mowing and all of a sudden it's getting dark, right? So you can actually see that, hey, these lights are gonna help you. These are a little bit more improved from the previous model, just a little bit, okay? The next reason for me is the brushless mower, right? So they do make a couple of models with brushless mowers. There's some confusion around the 21 inch, um, 56 volt self-propelled model before this, uh, along with, you know, the, just the push mower, the normal non-self-propelled. Uh, you know, Ego doesn't have brushless on their website, but Home Depot does, you know, and different companies do. This one says it, you know, it's written right in the front, you know, let me turn the lights off. All right, so this one says it, you know what I mean? It's, it's right here in the front, you know, it's dirty, but I don't know if you see that, but brushless, kind of engraved. Okay, so, you know, that is huge. And people say, well, what is brushless? You know, how's that gonna help me with a mower or any kind of tool? Well, first off, Brushless gives you more power. Brushless also gives you longer battery life. And brushless always also makes your mower last longer. It is gonna make your tool last longer, right? So, you know, it, these are known facts based on, you know, just information out there on long-term reviews of brush versus brushless motors, okay? Now, one thing I wanna say about the motor itself is the motor will actually rev up and adjust if you're going through thicker or longer grass. Now, it's something you can't control today, but on some of the other tools that Ego makes, they have turbo buttons, right? So hopefully in the future, they will give you the ability because you can see more than the mower can sense. So if you see that you're coming up to an area that has thicker or longer grass and you just want a little more power for a moment, I'm hoping they come out with that. That would be really great. Now, this next demo is gonna take a moment, but what I wanna show you is, is the noise difference, okay? So, we're gonna compare the sound of the Ego, 56 volt select cut mower, versus the Honda. Now, I have to see if the Honda will start up because I, I did use it earlier this season to suck up some leaves, and, and then I got this new model, okay? So, let's... Go ahead, start it up, and you can hear, and I have to extend the handle, by the way. If you don't extend the handle, you're not going to start the mower. The handle has to be extended. Um, all right, so all I need to do is pull this back. Actually, hold the button down here. So I'm in a garage, it's windy outside. So I said, you know what, let me do this where it's quiet, okay? Now let me go ahead and show you how the Honda sounds. All right, give me a second here. I'm gonna pull the handle up. All right, get this puppy ready. Oh, now I'm not gonna lock the handle, so. It's like classic Honda sound. All right, look, let's see. Pull the handle. All right, probably just, you know, needs one or two pulls. Okay, so you heard the Honda. Let's go back to the Ego.
one more time on the Honda. Okay, so I wanted you to, to hear that because one thing that we are not really doing in our lives is we're not protecting our ears. And when you're using um, power tools that are loud, you're damaging your ears over time. Um, I find I don't need to e use earmuffs with this mower, but I definitely do need to use it with the Honda mower and a lot of the other tools that I use that are uh, either electric and, and like um, gas, uh, excuse me, gas. So, you know, to me, that is just another reason, right? You know, is, is um, just the, the mower, the reduced noise, okay? Next up, I want to talk about the adjustable handle, okay? So some people are like, hey, this thing is, I don't like the way the, the handle is. Well, you just got to know how to adjust the handle, okay? So you have three height adjustments for the handle, okay? I think I've got it at its highest because I'm tall, okay? But you can actually go here, hit this handle, and hit it down once or twice. Okay, so there's all the way up where I normally put it. You got one down and another one down. Now I can tell you, I use the lower to get underneath this big holly bush I have in the front of my house. But some people just might be more comfortable. So, okay, so that is another reason why you, you know, basically, you know, one of the reasons why I like the mower. Now... The other thing I like too is that you, you have different blades to choose from and I did a video on the uh, premium mulching uh, blade and the premium bagging blade and uh, I'm going to do a video on the high lift blade soon but it is so nice to know that you have you know different blades you can choose from um, that are going to do different things okay and here is really my last reason all right the last reason why I like my Ego lineup is I can take one of these batteries and I can throw it in any one of these tools. So as you can see here, and this is a smaller battery. I like a smaller battery for, this is the two and a half amp battery. And I like this battery because, you know, it, it just keeps the tool lighter also, you know. Now this is the uh, 530 CFM model. Um, you know, it's got the adjust here. You can adjust the uh, how, how fast it goes. It's got the turbo button, which is sick. Um, you can have a strap as well, so you can connect a strap, which is nice. Um, so it, a little less on your back, but... Okay. This is the hedge trimmer. I finally got my hands on one. Okay, again, this is brushless. Um, it comes with a nice cover. Okay, so this is the hedge trimmer. And then the weed whacker, you know? I mean, this is just my good old trimmer um, that, you know, Ego makes. And they make a couple of models with like carbon fiber poles. Um, you know, this model here, they also make like as you can see, it can be it, you can you can actually unscrew this and put it somewhere, uh, put it away. They make it without that as well. Um, and the other thing too is this is um, oh I forgot the name. It's an easy load or something, but basically you can feed the string through this head, and then you can actually turn it to actually load it. Okay, which is really cool. So I haven't had to change it yet. Um, and you know, it's something different. Um, I'm honestly, I don't know if you see here in the corner I can tell you some of my old, my other favorite tools that I used to use the Ryobi I used to love the Ryobi uh, trimmer uh, Because it, it actually had like this wheel. So I used it for edging. You know what I mean? It's like really worked well for edging. They also I also have a smaller blower here some of my older tools I call it the tool graveyard, you know so Listen, you know, that's it. I mean, I really wanted to do a nice video for you and just kind of give you some more reasons and some more information. I will have some more videos coming up on cut. Um, my, my grass is growing like crazy, so I'll be able to show how it reacts in uh, heavier grass. 
Um, I'm also going to do a comparison of the mulching blade versus the high lift blade. Okay, so listen, um, if you ha if you can, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe in the upper right hand corner. Um, and I will actually put my get off gas playlist up here in the corner. Um, and, and also do me a favor if you can hit a like again we are still a new channel got a lot of new subscribers thank god it's so awesome it's so fun to do um, hit like um, if you don't like the video walk away <laughs> please don't hurt the channel um, and with that thank you so much i really appreciate your time if you have any questions or comments let me know and i'll surely get back to you thanks a lot bye bye